Hello, traveler. Welcome to the enchanted realm of AI artistry. I am the prompt sorcerer, your amphibious guide through the mystical waters of comfy UI and the arcane art of diffusion. Together we'll embark on a journey to transform mere words into captivating images. In this quest, we shall conjure from the void not just any creature, but an AI influencer. A being of charm, wit, an algorithmic allure, born of code, and trained in the ancient arts of neural sorcery. With the magic in this course, you'll learn to summon consistent characters, perfect for branding, games, stories, or films. We'll be using Flux models for generation and comfy UI as our visual node-based interface to orchestrate the process. This combination will give us more control and consistency over propriety models. Don't worry if you don't have a powerful computer. We'll be using cloud GPUs to handle the heavy lifting. For my Patreon supporters, I'll provide Docker containers that automatically set everything up. No complex installation is needed. In our first chapter, we begin by setting up our tools. We'll summon RunPod, connect Hugging Face and Civet AI, and conjure our very first text-to-image generations. By the end of this video, you'll have a working environment where you can start crafting images directly from your imagination. Alright, adventurer. Let's get Comfy UI running on RunPod and get familiar with the basics. After creating your RunPod account, you'll need some credits to deploy your first pod. Head over to the billing section and purchase some credits. $10 should be enough for a quick test run. Next, navigate to the pod section. There are two options for deploying pods, Community Cloud and Secure Cloud. Community Cloud is cheaper, but your data won't persist after the pod shuts down. Secure Cloud keeps your data with attached network volumes, so you don't need to re-download models every time. I recommend Secure Cloud for this journey. First, create a network volume. Use a data center where RTX 4090 GPUs are available. Give your volume a name. For this adventure, 250 GB should be sufficient. You can always increase the size later, but you can't shrink it, so start with what you think you'll need. To launch your pod, you'll need API keys from Hugging Face and Civet AI. Those keys will be needed for downloading our models. Let's get the Hugging Face token first. Hugging Face is similar to GitHub, but focused on AI. It's a platform where developers can share, explore, and use machine learning models and tools. To get your API token, click your profile picture, click Access Tokens, create new token with read permission, give it a name and create the token. Copy the token and return to RunPod to create a secret. Paste the token, name it HF Token, and save. All right. We have one more thing to do before we proceed. We'll be using Flux models for our generations. And they come with a few important license terms. Most Flux models, like Flux Dev, and context are released under a non-commercial license. That means you can't use them for commercial purposes unless you get special permission from Black Forest Labs. However, there's one exception. The Schnell model. It's released under the Apache 2 license, so you can use it commercially right out of the box. To download the Flux models, you'll need to agree to the license terms first. Just head over to the Models page on Hugging Face and click the Agree and Access button. Once that's done, your Hugging Face token will let you download the models during setup. Let's get the other token from Civet AI. 
Civet AI is a website where people share and download AI art models like Stable Diffusion to create and explore AI-generated images. Here you can find many fine-tuned models and auras which we will touch upon more later in the quest. To get your API token, click your profile picture, go to account settings, and at the bottom of the page you will see Add API Keys button. Give it a name, copy it, then return to RunPod and create another secret. Alright, let's set up one more secret. This time for your Patreon password. We'll name this one PT token and you can grab the actual value from your Patreon post. Once added, this token will allow us to unlock and unarchive the workflow files. So it's an important step before we continue. Now that we have created our tokens, let's create a pod. Make sure to select the network volume you just created. Under Additional Filters, choose NVMe Disk Type for faster speed. Set the minimum RAM to be at least 48 gigabytes. To ensure better compatibility across different machines, I've prepared two templates based on CUDA versions. One template is built for CUDA 12.4, which works great on most setups. The other is for CUDA 12.8, designed specifically for newer GPUs like the RTX 5090 or RTX 6000 Pro. Perfect if you're running on the latest Blackwell architect. This way, you can pick the template that matches your machine's capabilities and avoid any compatibility issues right from the start. We'll go with the RTX 4090, which is ideal for generating images with the Flux model. You can use any GPU with at least 24 GB of RAM, but the 4090 provides the best performance for its price. So, let's go ahead and pick the template I've prepared for this quest. This one right here. Next, we'll set up our environment variables. Just select your Civet AI token, Hugging Face token, and Patreon password. These are required for the first run. Without them, the setup won't start properly. There's also an additional environment variable called Update Container. When set to true, your container will automatically fetch and apply the latest updates if the template changes. You can leave this set to false for faster startups. Only enable it when you know there's an update you want. Now click Set Overrides. And with everything in place, let's deploy the pod. You may check the progress from the System and the Container tabs. The System tab will list the progression that is before the Docker initialization. After Docker initialized, you will find the logs here. Go grab some coffee. This will take some time. Installation is now complete. It took around 60 minutes. All models and custom nodes are now loaded and ready with Xformers enabled for improved performance. If you see this, you're good to go. Comfy UI is up and the Jupyter Notebook is running right above it. Now click Connect button and open Comfy UI. This will be your first screen if you are opening the Comfy UI for first time. Here, you can find the official workflows provided by Comfy UI team and other workflows that are created by custom node developers. Before we jump into the complex workflows, let's cover the basics. So this is the default workflow of Comfy UI. It is using Stable Diffusion 1.5 and let's quickly see what is denoising means with a quick demonstration. Let's add a float looping node together so we can cycle through the values and see how it affects the results. Let's set this from 0.45 to 1 with 0.5 step. And let's run that. It 
Imagine starting with a blank canvas that's been splattered with random paint. Diffusion is the process where an AI slowly cleans up that chaos, step by step, shaping the mess into a clear detailed image based on the prompt you gave it. Now let's open Workflows tab. There is the Basics folder that I have prepared for you. You will find their fundamentals concepts that we are going to use as building blocks. Don't worry if it feels like a lot right now. We'll get through it together, and you'll get the hang of it step by step. No need to learn everything at once. So let's try to understand the models that we are loading here with analogies. Think of the diffusion model as the brain of the AI, and it knows how to paint. Clip is the brain that links a what you say with a what you see, enabling AI to paint from your words or find the perfect image to go with your story. We, on the other hand, is like a smart sketch artist who first simplifies a complex scene into a rough outline. This is the encoding part, then redraws it in full detail, helping the AI capture the essence of images to create smoother, more realistic results. And that is the decoding part. Here we are creating an empty latent image here. Latent image or latent space is like imagination of the AI. Instead of working with pixels directly, it works in hidden world of ideas, patterns and concepts like the AI internal dream. We are giving a prompt to create our image. And that is our way of telling the AI what you want it to imagine. Notice that we are using 1024 x 1024 size here because the Flux model is trained with these image sizes and gives better results with it. So let's click Run. For the first time that we are running it, it will take some time to load all those models, and after that it will be much quicker. You can also check the progression from the Logs tab. And there it is, our very first image conjured into existence. That wraps up our very first tutorial. In the next chapter of our arcane journey, we'll dive into the fundamental flux concepts that power all your creations. Once you're done with your work, don't forget to delete your pod. No worries, it won't remove any models we've downloaded, since everything is safely stored in the attached network volume. That's the usual run pod workflow. Deploy, use, then delete. And that's it. And there it is. Your lab is ready, and your first spells have been cast. We now have a working run pod set up, access to models, and basic queuing generation. In the next part, we'll go deeper into editing, transforming, and refining images. Onward.